Okay, so Mr. Abhishek Anand, would you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Hi, Sonia. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, and uh, so that I can share my TSS digital experience. So, uh, hi, I am Abhishek Anand. I am currently working as a systems engineer in Tata Consulting Services in Bangalore. And I have completed my B.Tech graduation from Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology with a specialization in information technology. And I was born and brought up in Lucknow and I have done my schooling from Lucknow Public School. All right, so could you please even give us a brief introduction about the company you got placed or work? So the last placement season, I was placed in uh, TCS Digital. So about TCS, Tata Consulting Services is the uh, largest Indian information technology company, which provides business consulting and IT services. And the headquarter is in uh, uh, Mumbai. And uh, TCS hires uh, around 40,000 plus candidates every year through their national qualified test exam, NQT. And uh, around 15 to 1700 students get selected for a digital offer. And uh, if we talk about the salary package of digital candidate, then the salary package is around uh, 7 lakh per annum. All right, so give us a brief knowledge about your job profile role and the key skills that are needed. So uh, luckily I got a digital offer and currently I am working in cybersecurity domain. And for getting a digital offer, you should, you have to cross NQT exam. You can also get it, the, get the digital offer from uh, Code Vita. So uh, we'll talk about the NQT exam here. So in the NQT, I had given my NQT exam in the month of October last year. And the NQT exam consists of two sections, uh, the cognitive skill and the programming skill. And in the cognitive skills, there are uh, three subsections, which is logical, verbal, and numerical skills. And this section is important. All these three sections are of uh, 600 marks each. And... Uh, uh, the programming skill part, uh, it consists of 10 programming logical questions and two hands-on coding questions. So uh, these questions are a bit easy and can be solved with a basic programming knowledge. And uh, uh, try. To, uh, there's a tip for every aspirant, like try to keep your cognitive score around uh, 1500 above. So uh, my, my score was around 1535. So... Uh, it helped me and you will be shortlisted for the uh, advanced coding round. So you'll be notified through mails and after getting shortlisted for advanced coding round, there will be uh, two questions. And uh, I must say that question, these, uh, those questions were difficult and it requires uh, advanced programming knowledge. And uh, after solving both the questions, I was selected for the interview round. And uh, in the interview round, there were uh, three people and the interview round consists of uh, technical, managerial and HR interview. And uh, all these three panel members will take your interview in one go. So this is a journey. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, like we really want to know from where do we get the skills? And so could you please give us a any tip and the resources that are needed? Yeah, sure. Uh, for the cognitive part, you can easily prepare it from any online uh, platform. Like uh, it is sufficient to prepare it from online platform and uh, you will get around 1500 plus uh, marks easily. And in the NQT programming part, and it will be like, it requires very basic knowledge. So you can get it from your uh, like graduation syllabus or you can, uh, you can easily get it from the uh, uh, online platform also. For the advanced coding round, uh, practicing hacker rank, hacker rank and lead code will surely help you. You should pra practice the hacker rank uh, uh, on daily basis. It will surely help you. And uh, for the interview part. The interview part is the main part as it decides whether the candidates is, candidate is capable for a digital role or a ninja role. So uh, in the interview round, inter a candidate must be aware of all the latest technologies 
and should have some basic idea about all these technologies. And uh, one more important point, you should also have a thorough understanding about all the basic subjects like databases, data structures, and OOPS concepts. All right, so like, how is the question and answer process handled at your company? Like in the interview process, like how was the question and answer? I must say the, all the panel members were uh, very uh, extremely supportive and extremely uh, interactive and the process of question and answer, answering was uh, very smooth. And due to that, I was a bit confident during the interview and uh, I was not nervous because of the interaction part. So like any advices that you want to give us for our future aspirants? Yeah, I want to give a few advice to all the future aspirants. So uh, first advice is like, uh, try to watch some introductory videos related to uh, latest technologies just before the interview so that you will be really, like, you will be remembering all the points related to that. And I have done that and it had, it had helped me a lot. And uh, the second advice that uh, try to uh, do some research work in your college days. Like in my case, I had a research, I have a research paper in an international conference and an international journal. So uh, most of the questions in my interview was based on that only. So it helped me. And uh, the last one is like, be confident and it's a golden opportunity. So do your best. All right. So like we really want to know anything interesting that happened during the preparation or interview for this job? Yeah, there was an interesting thing. Like uh, in my school days, I was a lead quizzer and I used to participate in IT quizzes. And uh, uh, one of them was pieces IT quiz. It's a IT quiz for its competition for uh, students. So when I told my interviewer about that, they were like they were happy and they appreciated me for that and yeah, this was an interesting thing so all right yeah yeah all right so thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us so would you like to say something yeah i would like to say like uh, tcs digital is the best opportunity for a fresher uh, to enter in the it industry and uh, you'll get to know you'll get many of the experience and after joining TCS, like I have also got many experience in the uh, ILP trainings and the assessments. And uh, today also we are like preparing for the uh, different trainings and in the cybersecurity domain also. I've been assigned to cybersecurity domain. So yeah, you'll, you'll experience that also. So it's best opportunity for a fresher and Thank you, uh, Sonia. Thank you for having me uh, on this channel so that I can share my experience. Hope this video will help all the aspirants. Uh, all the aspirants who are watching this video, please do subscribe to this channel for such uh, more of such inter uh, introductory, informative video. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's like amazing having you out here. Of course, it was motivating as well as... Yeah. It will help our audience as well. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope it was informative for you guys. And even if you want to share your experiences and thoughts with us, then do comment down below in this video. And you can also DM us on all our social media handles. The links are in the description box below. Do subscribe to our channel, Placement Interview.